welcome to another episode of Cooking Healthy with Coastline. I'm Caitlin Ferreira, registered dietitian, and I'm here with a local resident to explore the uh, gardens at Grinnell Mansion. Hi, my name is Roman, and welcome to Grinnell's Mansion's Garden. We'll be using some of the vegetables we picked today in a summer seasonal recipe. Some of the vegetables that they're growing right now are cucumbers. So we'll be making a cucumber and watermelon salad. Roland's been taking care of the garden. Do you want to show us where the others are? Sure. As we're coming down and coming into them, we've got a few more. Beautiful. It looks like another one that we can use. Need some help? You're good. Beautiful. So we'll get these prepped for our recipe and we'll talk a little bit more about the gardens here. So we'll be using some of the uh, fresh cucumbers that we've just picked in a cucumber watermelon salad. So we've got watermelon, jicama, the cucumber, red onion, some lime juice, feta cheese, and vinegar, and a little bit of olive oil. So Roland and I are just gonna go ahead and start getting this stuff ready, mixing it all together in here. Right, so. Look at that, beautiful. So this is a mini watermelon, which I have never, used before, but I think... Those are good when you're going on cookouts and camping. Yeah, because they're smaller portion, a little bit yeah. easier to... a little bit easier to manage. Do you know how to tell if a watermelon is ready to be eaten? Yes. What are some things that you look for? I listen to about what noise it makes. Okay, how do you make the noise? When you tap it on it. Mm -hmm. And should it oh, sound... Not just that, you also can touch by pushing in the ends. Exactly. So what do you... Um, when you tap it, what's, kind of, what's the sound that you want You'll to hear? You hear like a hollowness. Right? Hollow, right. I was told that sometimes if you look for the stripes, if they've got really defined lines or a really small little bullseye on there, that can sometimes tell if it's a little bit sweeter. I think that's fun. So we're just making small cubes of the watermelon. I'm going to put them right into our mixing bowl. Watermelon is in season this month, and although it's not growing here, I wanted to incorporate some other items that um, you might find in your own garden or maybe a community garden that you volunteer at or even at a farmer's market. I think about summertime, is everybody looks forward towards watermelon. Always. Very refreshing, loaded with um, some vitamins and great for hydrating actually. So sometimes we can eat our fluid as opposed to constantly drinking it. Roland, what are some things that you like to make with cucumbers? Cucumber salad. Cucumbers, <laughs> like we're doing today? No, I mean, actually cu cucumber salad. You take it, when you cut them all up, well you peel it. Then when you cut them all up, you put a layer on it in a bowl, you put a little salt. Mm -hmm. Then you put another layer, now little, little layers out. Keep on doing that till you fill up the bowl. Then what you do is you put saran wrap over and you put it away in the refrigerator. A couple hours later, come back and you drain out the juice. Keep on doing this over the next 12 hours or so. Don't send it shrink down. You add a little bit of sugar to it. There you go. Oh, really? And how do you eat them just like that as a snack? Yeah. It's easy. Put it on toast. Toast? Yeah. Yummy. Yep. Yeah. You could even add some sliced tomato, right? Which we could have used today. Right. My tomatoes aren't ready yet. But the tomatoes aren't ready. Beautiful. But you'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see, just in a bit. All right, I'm thinking this might be enough watermelon. I don't want to do too much. What do you think? Oh, that's good. Yeah, we've got plenty of cucumber to throw in there. I'm going to start working on the jicama. So jicama is a root vegetable, and it kind of tastes like a cross between a potato and a pear. This might take a little while. Mm 
and we're gonna be eating it raw, but if you eat it raw, um, you always wanna be sure that you peel off the, the skin. Jicama really likes warm, warm weather and typically grows, um, it's really popular in, I think it's Mexico. They have such a warm climate. But it's always good to get a mixture of, or a variety of fruits and vegetables because they each offer different amounts of vitamins and minerals. That's why you may have heard the phrase, eat the rainbow, right? Eat the rainbow so you get a good spectrum of vitamins and minerals. Love vegetables. Yeah. What's your favorite vegetable? What's your favorite vegetable? Mm -hmm. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. I like the small cherry tomatoes at night time for a snack. Those are really good. With some fresh basil? No, just as just is. Just as is. What's your favorite thing to grow? What's your favorite fruit, vegetable, or herb that you like Anything. to grow? I like watermelon, but we haven't tried that yet here. No. And you've been working on this garden since, how, for how long? Well, we started the project last year in memory of somebody. So this is the second year that we've been doing it. Excellent. And have you, do you have a lot of volunteers? No, it's just me. Just you. I have other who works in the office and the join the maintenance man who helps out. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah, excellent. Do you think more people will start to get involved as they see what you've been growing and doing? No, what it is, we get up, have it down in the office, we get up and she'll put things that we're growing, she'll send up to people's apartment. Oh, nice. And they can check off what they would like. Nice. And as they come in, we give it to them. That's really Not nice. Not like fresh vegetables. Very nice. Have you had any requests for something that you haven't grown yet? No. Not yet. Yeah, someone from the kitchen, I said I wasn't growing it and that was corn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because that topic. takes up a lot of space. It takes a lot of room plus height. But pretty much we want our vegetables. We haven't thought about fruit like this. Oh, strawberries. Strawberries, that we get out there. that's right. You are growing some strawberries, which you could do the same. You could prepare the same recipe with strawberries if you didn't have watermelon or um, if you had oh, some. Strawberry season has past. such recently passed. Yeah. Even though it came in kind of light this year because of the weather. A little bit. It always changes. But what was nice about it, the strawberries were a lot more sweeter too this year. They were very great. Mm. Juicy. Whoops. And by the way, here comes Heather. Heather works for our coastline and she works down in the office. And I picked some mint from our herb garden for Beautiful. your salad. Oh, Beautiful. That would be nice. Could you pick some and add some sure. to our salad? About how much should we put in? Just enough to mix it in there so everything's kind of coated nicely. And I'm going to continue to prep this. So I peeled the jicama and I'm just cutting off the bottom and the top part. I'm just going to cut it into little cubes. So you're growing some other herbs, right? Yes. What are some things that you're growing? Parsley. Some basil. Yummy. Oregano. Yeah. Some thyme. Wow. And some dill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The dill's just not going to come out. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. We could have actually used um, basil and or parsley as well in this recipe. So if you have them and you want to incorporate them. So you could use those instead of the mint. Yeah. Or in, pla or in addition to them. As you can see, this salad is very colorful, and a lot of people will say we eat with our eyes. So just looking at that, you might start to uh, build up a little appetite. What do you think? That's why I said this is disappearing up into my house. <laughs> Y'all have fun. <laughs> it does look good. Not much fresh vegetables. I eat a lot of it. Okay, let's give this a little mix. And we didn't do any measurements for the... Um, the ingredients we just was right. adding. Just kind of mixing it all together. going to add, yep, a little bit of feta cheese. Okay, just enough so that there's not too much, but everything's, you could get a little flavor of the, this is what we the feta cheese when you have a bite. Yeah. Let's now we can, with this. What do we use this for? It's going to go on the top of it to add a little flavor. That's right. And if we want, 
I'm just going to rinse my hand quick, but do you mind squeezing some lemon juice, lime juice, sorry, lime juice into the bowl there? And Heather, if you want, you could just drizzle some olive oil right oh, over it. Yeah. Sure. One or two? You can do both. And we might not need the, um, the vinegar, because if the lime juice does the trick, we might not even have to use it. The fewer ingredients, the better. We like things to be simple, fast, tasty, and nutritious. What do you think? How does that look? Like I said, you all have a nice day. <laughs> yeah. You got to have fun, ladies. Come on. That's right. Maybe, that do you want to add a little bit more mint? I can just pick up some. Look at this, it's beautiful. And it looks like it's growing pretty tall. It is, it's turned into a good size plant. It's beautiful. And we'll get a, a, a little um, tour of the herbs that are growing as well. Awesome. Okay, so we'll give this a little try. What do you think? Sure. I have some plates so we can try what we've made. Thank you. Thank you. There you are. Thank you. 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 Thank I want to know what your thoughts are on the jicama. Very refreshing. It does taste like a pear. It does a little bit. Right? Mm -hmm. It does taste like a pear. I a like little that. Bit, a little bit nutty. Kind of like a... It kind of reminds me of like green beans. The flavor of like a fresh mm -hmm. green bean. No, it's very good. And it's probably something I wouldn't have thought to try on my own. Mm -hmm. I like this. And and it's not job. that hard. Right, it wasn't that hard. We always try to consider simplicity, things that are, um, especially today, things that are in season, if, whether they're growing in your garden, like I said, or if they're in a local farmer's market that you go to. You know what would be good in there? Slices of apple. Apple would be good, yep. That would be great. You could, ton, you could throw tons of stuff in here. You could add some cold grilled chicken. Maybe you've grilled up some chicken um, and had it in a had it for some leftovers. You could throw that in there, or maybe even throw in some um, chickpeas if you're looking to add some protein. You could even add it to a bed of lettuce that you're growing and have it like a real green salad. Yep, so it's very versatile and full of vitamins, minerals, some fi natural fiber, and antioxidants. Definitely. This is why I almost eat daily. It's all different fruits and vegetables. Very good. Try to stay healthy. Yeah, yeah, I think you're a great example of um, getting your portions, your servings of fruits and vegetables. And what I, another thing I really like about this is um, if you are going to be hosting uh, some friends or family over, or maybe you have some little ones that you're watching, these are things that they can also really help with and start some conversation with, um, with them about foods and things that they might be really familiar with, like the watermelon and the cucumber might be foods that they're... And they can learn something like right. about the jicama, which, right. like, like you said, tastes a little bit like a walnut mixed in with an apple. A little or bit. Or a pear. Yeah. That's yeah, right, exactly good. what it tastes like, mm -hmm. a walnut with a pear. Yeah. And I think the mint too, the fresh mint, mint adds yeah. a lot to it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I've seen this recipe also with some like nuts and seeds, so if you wanted to throw in like um, pepitas, or um, pistachios, walnuts, those would be great in this as well. I think nice. that's a lot of good ideas. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> We're all working My on My mind's all be racing already. Yeah, that's like, what I hope. How fast can I go to the grocery store when I leave here? <laughs> you want to take a tour of the, uh -huh. the rest of the garden? Sure. Yeah, all right. show you the rest. Sounds like fun. Let's go. And this is some of our herbs. What do you have here? We got some chives, we got some parsley, we got basil. some oregano, some dill, basil, mm -hmm. a little small baby cactus. 
And these here? These are two pineapples. Wow. And how did you start these? Starting from the tops of the pineapples. Mm, so I that? eat a lot of pineapple. Yeah. Also, I have an avocado that we started from seed over here. And from seed, you got the seeds from China. But they say it's their version of a banana plant. Wow. All right, so let's see what else you have growing. Shall we go outside and go take a look? Yeah. Let's go take a look at this garden. It's not a big garden, but it works nice. As peas came and gone already, the tomatoes. Wow. Tomatoes, you've got a lot in. here. I can, I can see some of them are starting to get a little, a little red. On Tuesday, this thing was the size of a quarter. In a matter of three days, that's how much it grew. Wow. So some green bell peppers there. Yeah. Beautiful. Pepper, pepper, pepper. pepper. We got oh, artichokes. Some carrots. Carrots. Carrots back those there. Those I recognize those yep. greens. Yep. Those Beautiful. are the artichokes. That's an artichoke. One's over there, one's over there. Beautiful. It what? looks like we've got a red tomato in here. I can see it. Hiding now way that under you there. can reach down and pull out. Yeah, are you sure? Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know if it's ready yet. It's still a little green, but. They've got, there's a lot of tomatoes under there. And the third plant is finally just starting to grow the tomatoes in now. It's another tomato plant there? Yes. Yep, and you've got something over here, right? Yes, strawberries. Of course, they've already been coming on, but the funny thing is, that's the strawberry season, you still get one or two that grows in. But yep. this year, strawberries were running because of the wet season, right into July, second week of July. Yeah. Interesting this year. Yeah. Just an odd season, yeah. All right, what else do you have And let's growing? head out to the front garden bed so I can show where the rest of the herbs are at. Okay. See, there's the curly parsley. parsley. The mint, and up over here, it's hiding behind the marigolds, is the big basil. More basil. Ain't that nice? Mm -hmm. Not much, but it's a start. Exactly. I know. Yeah, that's because it went to flower. When was the mansion built? It was built around 1831, 1832. Awesome. It's beautiful. What, yeah, but what's beautiful about it is the history behind this building. I'm sure. Two famous presidents, to my knowledge, and other people still here. First one was Abraham Lincoln, and next one was John Quincy Adams. Wow. And a few other writers. That's exciting. Which history in New Bedford. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me and for the tour of the garden and for your help preparing our seasonal summer recipe. It was a pleasure working with you. Thank you for watching another episode of Cooking Healthy with Coastline. For more information, go to coastlinenb.org.